Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. The Lord be with you. And I'm also with you. Let us say together the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, prevent the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthy magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. As we say together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we, we have sinned against, against you and against our neighbour, in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through, weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past. And grant that we may serve you in the newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Gracious Father, Revive your church in our day, and make her holy, strong, and faithful for your glory's sake. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. A reading from the book Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Send men to spy out the land of Canaan, which I am giving to the Israelites. From each of their ancestral tribes, you shall send a man, every one a leader among them. At the end of forty days, they returned from spying out the land, and they came to Moses and Aaron, and to all the congregation of the Israelites in the wilderness of Paran, at Kadesh. They brought back word to them and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him, We came to the land which you sent us. It flows with milk and honey, and this is its fruit. Yet the people who live in the land are strong, and the towns are fortified and very large. And besides, we saw the descendants of Anak there, the Amalekites lived in the land of the Nebi. The Hittites, the Jebusites, and the Amorites lived in the hill country, and the Canaanites lived by the sea and along the Jordan. But Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and occupy it, for we are well able to overcome it. Then the men who had gone up with him said, We are not able to go up against this people, for they are stronger than we are. So they brought to the Israelites an unfavourable report of the land that they had spied out, saying, The land that we have gone through as spies is a land that devours its inhabitants, and all the peoples that we saw in it are of great size. There we saw the Nephilim, the Amalekites come from the Nephilim, and to ourselves we seem like grasshoppers, and so we seemed to them. Then all the congregation raised a loud cry, and the people wept that night. And the Lord spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, How long shall this wicked congregation complain against me? I have heard the complaints of the Israelites, who say, Complain against me. Say to them, As I live, says the Lord, I will do to you the very things I heard you say. Your dead bodies shall fall in this very wilderness, and all of your number, included in the census, from twenty years old and upwards, who have complained against me, not one of you shall come into the land in which I swore to suffer you, 
except Caleb, son of Jephunai, and, and Joshua, son of Nun. But your little ones, who you said will become booty, I will bring in, and they shall know the land that you have despised. But as for you, your dead bodies shall fall in this wilderness, and your children shall be shepherds in the wilderness for forty years, and shall suffer for such as your faithlessness until the last of your dead bodies lies in the wilderness. According to the number of the days in which you spied out the land, forty days, for every day a year, you shall bear your iniquity, forty years, and you shall know my displeasure. I, the Lord, have spoken. Surely I will do thus to all this wicked congregation gathered together against me. In this wilderness they shall come to a full end, and there they shall die. This is the word of the Lord. Be to God. The response to the psalm is, Remember me, Lord, when you show favour to your people. Remember me, Lord, when you show favour to your people. A craving seized him in the wilderness, and they put God to the test in the desert. He gave them their desire, but sent a wasting sickness among them. Remember me, Lord, when you show favour to your people. But it grew jealous of Moses in the camp and of Aaron, the Holy One of the Lord. So the earth opened and swallowed up Dathan and covered the company of the Bira. Remember me, Lord, when you show favour to your people. A fire was kindled in their company the flame burnt up the wicked. They made a calf at Horeb and worshipped the molten image. Thus they exchanged their glory for the image of an ox that feeds on hay. Remember me, Lord, when you show favour to your people. They forgot God their Saviour, who had done such great things in Egypt, wonderful deeds in the land of Ham, and fearful things at the Red Sea. Remember me, Lord, when you show favour to your people. So he would have destroyed them, had not Moses, his chosen, stood before him in the breach, to turn away his wrath from consuming them. Then they scorned the promised land, and would not believe his word. Remember me, Lord, when you show favour to your people. so sick of her 
at the end of pleading with Jesus to give her what she wants, to get rid of her. When Jesus eventually speaks with her, it's somewhat, the, the thing is somewhat frosty at first. But undeterred, she presses on with her plea for help. She isn't going to give up. Her persistence pays off, and she's praised for her great faith. This little episode provokes a great picture of persistence in faith and shows us that God's love and his blessing is open to everyone, whoever they may be, and that generosity extends even to ourselves. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So my after supper he took the cup and gave it thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so far, the calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Simon, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread. To share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which He gave for you and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts, by faith with thanksgiving.
Let us pray. Holy Father, who gathered us here around the table of your Son to share this meal with the whole household of God, in that new world where you reveal the fullness of your peace, gather people of every race and language to share in the eternal banquet of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for giving us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you, now and always.